Hi, I'm Margaret with ESAP Games, makers of Bernaleski, Age of Architects, and we're going to go ahead and walk through making a new character in Bernaleski. Since I haven't made any characters with this account yet, I can make either a Lord or a Hero character. We're going to go ahead and start out with a Lord character. My first choice here is to either make my character male or female. I'm going to select female. Here we've got the five Lord classes. Each of these, while they can just go ahead and progress in the class we select right here, they can alternately gather up enough importance to advance in rank, thereby gaining additional classes down the chain associated with whichever class we pick here. So we're going to go ahead and start out as a journey woman. The first character trait that we're going to pick here is our zodiac sign. Each of these signs here, as you can see, has an associated bonus as well as an associated penalty. Now you can go through these and select which one most appeals to you, but if you are not ready to pick, or if none of these seems quite right, you can pick Ophetius, which has no bonus and no penalty. Our next trait selection here is Season. Now these also have an associated bonus and penalty, but the uh, bonus only happens during your season and the penalty only happens in the oppositely aligned season. And of course, if we don't want any of these bonuses and penalties, we can just go ahead and pick none. The next trait that we have to pick here is our favorite day of the week. And as you can see, it just increases the uh, speed at which you regenerate action points um, on the day that you pick here. So since there's no downside, we go ahead and do ask that you pick. I'll go ahead and select Saturday. Our next trait here is our favorite moon phase for our character. And like other traits, it comes with a bonus as well as a penalty for the opposite aligned phase. And if we don't want any of those, we can go ahead and pick none. Now we get to pick our favorite color for our character. This is mostly just a bit of flair so that you can get to know your character and so that other people can get to know your character when looking at your report page. So we're going to go ahead and pick aqua. And now we get to pick our second favorite color. And I'll go ahead and pick a light green. Now we're going to pick a culture for our character. Um, these will have bonuses associated with them in the future and until those are integrated into the game you can change your culture and other traits that are not yet fully integrated. You can change those freely through your character page later on. So let's go ahead and say we're going to have a Gallic character and now we're going to pick a religion. Let's go ahead and select Celtic Pagan. And now we have philosophy. Again, these are not fully integrated into the game just yet, which means we can change them whenever we want from our reports page. Let's start out as a humanist. Here we have the naming page for our character, and from here, if we change our mind about any of our traits that we've selected, we can go back and we can pick a different one very easily, just like that. And then when we're happy with all of our traits, we can just go up here and type in a name. Let's call her Alice. Make sure that we check that we have read the Terms of Service, which you can of course do at your leisure. And then we click Submit and wait a second for the game to process our brand new character and load into the new settlement page. Now this can take a little while as you can see, but now we have a brand new character all ready to go adventuring in the wilderness. Thanks for listening.